In this video, we will go over what a hairpin NAT is and how we can configure it on a 40 gate firewall. So the end goal here is to be able to access another, an internal server from an internal workstation or client um, by being able to access the public IP that would actually be bound to an external interface on our FortiGate firewall. So from a configuration perspective on the FortiGate firewall, what we're going to require is two firewall policies. One policy is going to be an outbound policy, and that's going to define a source interface of the following interface that I'm pointing to here, and then a destination or, or outgoing interface of this interface that I'm pointing to here. In this case, the source interface is going to be, uh, it's gonna be called internal two in our example, and the destination interface or outbound interface is going to be WAN one. And then additionally, we need another firewall policy which references a VIP object. And that's going to have a source interface of that same interface we we're just talking about WAN one, which is where the public IP is bound to. And then we're also going to have the the des destination interface is going to be the um, the interface that's associated on the same segment um, as the the server, right? And that in the, in our example here, that's going to be the interface named internal. All right, so maybe just take a quick moment here, take a screenshot of this topology, and um, just take note of, of what we're trying to do here. So instead of us doing the following, which would be accessing this machine 172.16.1.3, and then typing in the IP 192.168.112.2, uh, port 80 to be able to access this server. Instead of doing that, let's take the approach of trying to access that server using the same methodology as if we were to be accessing that server from, from the outside public internet. So from 172.16.1.3, let's actually instead, we're gonna type in 166.166.1.2 uh, port 8080 from the web browser on this machine and then we're going to be able to access this server so it'll you know the traffic will flow in in the following direction here so now let's jump into the configuration on the FortiGate and one thing before we do that is let's just make sure that when we do try and reach this resource via this internal machine that we actually cannot access it Right. Okay, now let's get into the 40 gate config. Okay, so let's just confirm the, the configuration of the interfaces. Um, so first things first is the WAN interface, WAN1. The IP that it's bound to is 166.166.1.2. And then we have internal2 where our client host is, is configured, which is on the 172.16.1.1 network. Um, and then we also have the internal... Um, interface where the server is located on 192.168.112.0 network. So starting with our configuration, let's go to policy and objects, firewall policy. Let's create a policy in the direction of, let's just call it outbound policy, and it'll be in the direction of internal two to WAN one. And just to keep things simple, we're just testing this out right now. We can always fine tune it and dial it in for more security afterwards. Um, we're just going to create an open policy. We're going to enable NAT. And okay, let's enable that policy. All right, so now we're covered up to this point from the initial explanation. Now the next step is to create a VIP object and then have that VIP ob object referenced in a firewall policy. So let's go to virtual IPs and let's create a new virtual IP and let's call it, um, let's call it, we'll just call it VIP object. And we do have to bind it to the interface. This is very important. We have to bind it to the WAN1 interface in this case. And we're going to use the same IP address, 166.166.1.2, same IP that is bound on uh, to WAN1. And now we're going to configure the map2, which is going to be 192.168.112.2. Now we configure the port forwarding rule. So we're going to configure port 8080 is going to be natted to port 80. All right, so now that we've created our VIP object, let's create our VIP policy, which references that object. So this is gonna be called VIP policy. Oh, and before I forget, I've just linked right now a suggested video in case you want a more of a deep dive into the VIP and the configuration of a virtual IP. Uh, feel free to click that and then, um, but yeah, for now, let's just continue with that VIP configuration. Incoming interface will be WAN1. Um, the outgoing interface will be internal. 
the source will be all, and again, that's just for our testing purposes. You can always make this more uh, fine-tuned later on. Destination will be the VIP object we just created, service all, let's disable NAT, and there we have it. All right, and now from this latest configuration, we've configured the VIP policy, so now we're pretty much done. We're done the outbound policy, which we've created, and the VIP policy, so now we can proceed to testing. Now let's test our configuration and make sure that that hairpin NAT is working. So we'll type in 166, 166.1.2, port 8080. And there we have it, we're able to access that internal resource. All right, so that wraps up our tutorial here on Hairpin Nat. Thanks for uh, joining here, and we'll see you in the next video.